At Ellis Brigham, we take ski testing really seriously, and this involves two different ski tests. The first one is done early in the season. Everything's put through its paces and compared, we make the decisions what we're going to stock. Later on in the season, we bring staff out to Austria. Here, the staff test all the skis that we've decided to go in the range. This means we can make sure we've made all the correct decisions, but it also means that when you come into any of our stores, the staff there can give you personal advice. They know exactly how the ski skis because they've been on them. Okay, so with Super Shape Magnum, it's 72 mil underfoot. It's got a 13.1 meter radius, so that makes it pretty lively. Um, it lends itself to being a piece ski more than anything. So there is a little bit of rocker on it, which we indicate here. So that little bit of rocker gives you more uh, easier turn initiation. So obviously, as a brand, we're now using a lot of graphene in our skis and our ski boots, so that reduces weight, but also increases power. So in the, the Magnum, we put the graphene underfoot, and that acts a bit like an internal plate. So it beefs the ski up underfoot, giving you better edge grip. And then in the tail of the ski, we've got our Curse technology, which gives you a boost coming out of the turn. It's a ski that's been around for ages, so we're used to getting good comments about it. Um, general references they make are to its stability and, and solid edge grip, um, but still quite easy to access the power that's, that's in that ski. So I've just done a run on the Head Super Shape Magnum. Um, it's a bit of a timeless ski, this one, but every time I get on it, I forget just how good it is. Um, I started off at the top, doing some shorter turns, not skiing too fast. It's nice, it's lively, it's pretty quick. And then a little bit, bit more speed into the ski and you can feel the power. Skiing it on the flat a bit, nice and stable. I didn't feel any trouble. Getting onto the steeper bit, then I can really let the ski go a bit more. Um, short turns, medium turns. It's got quite a short radius, but it's still happy in a longer turn. You can do that. The snow's choppy out there, it's not great but I still felt like I wasn't getting smashed around. It's got enough power that it'll get through the harder snow. Um, yeah, big smiles when you ski this ski, and I think maybe people underrate it a little bit because it's been around so long, but there's a good reason it's been around so long. You ski it, you love it. Uh, that's exactly how I felt when I was on it. I forgot how good it was.